Sometimes in astronomy, it's not what you see, but what you don't see that says the most. That may be the case with 47 Tucane, a densely packed star cluster in the southern hemisphere. Astronomer Ryan Gilliland surveyed 47 Tuck, looking for a certain class of planets, so-called hot Jupiters, because they're roughly the same size as Jupiter, but live in very tight orbits around their stars and are common in our part of the galaxy. The eight-day Hubble survey turned up a surprise. In 35,000 stars surveyed, no planets, none. Gilliland's team fine-tuned Hubble so that it could see the slight dimming of stars that happens when a Jupiter-sized planet passes between them and the Earth. In fact, the search technique was so sensitive that Hubble did pick up the variations in several binary star pairs, but still no planets. 47 Tuck is very different from our local neighborhood. The stars are much closer together, and they lack the heavy metals common in our area. This result doesn't rule out the presence of other planets, but the zero score may have a lot to say about some of astronomy's biggest questions. I think that's telling us uh, that it's probably the case that stars born into this environment, very crowded, low metallicity, are not likely, not as likely to have planets as those in the local environment. Astronomers need more data from 47 Tsukane to determine whether the cluster's lack of metals or its tidal forces or some other unknown force keeps the hot Jupiters from forming. I think that's telling us uh, that it's probably the case that stars born into this environment, very crowded, low metallicity, are not likely, not as likely to have planets as those in the local environment. <laughs> 